it's been a very positive experience for our customers and for Zaintech. Uh, we've certainly performed uh, better than uh, our plans. We're ahead of those um, quite substantially, which proves that the model that we have uh, enacted and the way that we have set out the business in the first place has been uh, very uh, solid. Uh, so we're seeing very, very positive results. Uh, I think it's just the, the beginning of that. I certainly believe that uh, there's a long way to go. So at Zaintech, what we have done is taken a very much an integrated approach to our solutions, all the way from infrastructure to security, to digital solutions, to data, to robotics, to drones. And what we have been trying to do is offer customers a one-stop shop as much as possible across the footprint. This way, we are combining um, connectivity along with the digital solutions and digital transformation capabilities, and also taking customers through that journey. So in terms of the um, solutions, that's how we are empowering them. We're looking at how we can actually take them through the entire journey of from making a digital transformation, whether it's from infrastructure or all the way up to um, actually value added applications and transformation and modernization of their environments as well. So we're seeing a full spectrum of uh, engagement from customers. And it's quite interesting and, and challenging at the same time because we have to appeal to most of those customers across, uh, across those uh, solutions. So our solutions are wide and deep. And what we are having a, dis you know, a constant discussion is more of a solution and a consultancy and a transformation discussion with the customers to really be able to customize the solutions and the offerings relevant to their environment and relevant to where they are uh, in their cycle for digital transformation as well. Twenty twenty three is is um, shaping up to be very very challenging in a very positive way for us. Uh, we certainly are expanding our footprint. At the moment, we are in uh, six countries. Uh, we're expanding into two more countries across our footprint between UAE, uh, Jordan, Bahrain, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Sudan, South Sudan, and Iraq. So certainly, the Zain footprint, along with obviously. Um, uh, some of the, the expansion, obviously, with Amantel being one of the shareholders in the Zane Group, um, uh, being able to give us expansion across the footprint across the region that nobody else has got. I'm seeing a lot of expansion in 23, not just in terms of people, but in terms of geography, in terms of um, uh, expansion of uh, skill sets, of solutions, of partnerships. Um, so we're, we're across a number of spectrums in our business. And we're trying to, you know, certainly address all of those to quite rapidly be the, the partner of choice for those customers that, you know, we're able to engage with. I think the outlook for 2023 for the ICT uh, industry within the MENA region is very positive. I'm certainly seeing customers having a much more strategic discussion around migration, around modernization around digitization, uh, transformation. I think we're seeing a lot of um, good traction. And the role of companies like Zane Tech is certainly to take customers through that journey, to be able to take them through from what they can imagine and what they want to take, you know, what they want to improve all the way to actually implementing and having those solutions in place.